What up, Zenation? It's Epic here. So, um, I kind of want to do, like, this little... Uh, I'm trying to, find my, trying to find my words, like... Uh... Yeah, I can't find my, find my word for it. I basically want to tell you, saying, like, what it's like to be a voice actor, if that's going to be your occupation in the future, if you guys are thinking about uh, doing voice acting in the future. And uh, if you guys don't know this, but my main three uh, dream jobs are... Um, well, my dream jobs are YouTube, Twitch, and voice acting. So, and like, what I love uh, about YouTube and Twitch is that they can also help with voice acting. So, like, it can help, like, uh, um, it can help showcase, like, you, you know, doing voices just f as for a living, and it could really help out with, uh, you know, uh, it can really help, uh, um, bring, like, bring, like, people and, like, companies and all that stuff to you and really get in touch with you and all that stuff. So uh, voice acting can really, like, YouTube and Twitch can really also really help out with voice acting. And I just really want to, like, tell you guys on, like, um, all the stuff that has to do with voice acting. So number one, what is voice acting? Voice acting is basically, like, you're know, doing, well, depending on what you're doing for it, whether it be a video game, sub, uh, um, sub anime, or dub anime. Mom, obviously, if you're if you live in the U.S. and you want to become an a, a English dub voice actor, then the different then what you have to do is from what I've seen is that um I also what done research on is that when you become a voice actor for a certain anime for the English, is that you have a screen, you have the script, and then you will hear a bunch of dings. You hear four dings, and once you get once you, you uh, once you get once you hear the fourth ding. That's immediately when you're going to start, because uh, if you miss that thing, they will not do redos, you're going to miss it, uh, and all that stuff. So, like, and you cannot miss uh, a single script. You you legit have to be focused on the screen, but also on the script, uh, because uh, you have to, like, try your best to sync with that voice as as best as possible you can. So, like, and also, will have timestamps, and, uh, like, the piece of screen that they'll have with you will constantly be on a loop, and you have to try your best to match it, um, try to match it, um, um, try to match that animation um, sub voice with the with your English dub voice, and like again, like on on the script, they'll have timestamps, and then you have to uh, read it, do the voice so that it will probably. Be, but I would say I would say try to be equal with the same voice, like. Uh, like try to be equal to the same with the sub voice. Like try to be at least try your best to be equal. If not, then at least uh, maybe you can try your own voice uh, and uh, see what it will sound like. Because um some uh, some some sound engineers will definitely help you out with uh, uh with all that stuff to make it sound just a little bit more better. So that's that. So, um, uh, but like the difference between uh, the difference between doing animation for cartoons and anime versus video games is that usually with video games you're just making sounds. It's like <laughs> And like you know what I'm saying, like you usually just making sure you have some uh, anime, some video games will have dialogue for you to do, which is totally fine. But the most legit, most of the time is just you making like running sounds, like like stuff like that. So, but the other time, uh, most of some video games will also ha allow dialogue and all that stuff. All depends on all depends on what the video game is going to be about, and also what the video game is going to be. So. Yeah, it all depends on the genre, what's gonna be, and uh, um, all that stuff. So there's that. Now, um, this is a again, like, I'm I'm not a professional when it comes to voice acting. I'm not a professional whatsoever. Um, I I it's one of my dream jobs, and so I've done a lot of research. I looked up a lot of videos and all that stuff. So, uh, but a, like a lot of people don't get this. Who want to be um who want to be uh, voice who want to become uh, voice actors in the future of their of their life. So like. What's the difference between voice acting and impersonating? Your per like when you do like when, let's say one person can do twenty voices or any of that or anything like that. That's good. Like you, hey, you, if you can do twenty voices, good. Practice a little bit more, make them a little bit better. See if you can do a little bit more. If you can't, then that's totally fine. Like me, I have a whole like I'm gonna you. I have like a whole page, whole two pages of with the person, the person, uh, the the impressions that I can do for most for mostly Disney, uh, for mostly Disney characters. Some Star Wars, some Marvel, some Lord of the Rings, some others, and all that stuff. 
So like, like so that that's what that's what impersonating. So you're basically impersonating that character, and that's totally fine because hey, like you're saying hey, if it sounds good, you can do a little bit more, do a little bit more, and if not, and you know your range, that's fine. So that's perfect. So and then, so now like uh, um, and when you're showcasing your voices. Uh, when you showcase your voices to the people to the um, during audition, saying that uh, hey, I can do this voices or this voices, that's not what they're looking for. They're they'll tell you what the character looks like, and it's your it's your job or like during the audition, it's your job to envision your uh, envision that character in your mind and what will it sound like, like what is what is the character doing, what will it sound like, what will the actions be, all that stuff. So. Yeah, that's basically, and so like your per so impersonating is not the same thing as voice acting. Voice acting is basically uh, voice acting or voice overwork is basically when you, you're like you're looking into it, you're seeing a new character for the first time, depending on what the company is doing. Um, if you're if you're English, like I said before, if you're doing English dub anime, then you're basically doing voice overwork in in uh in English um in Eng in the English language. Voice, so that's basically what voiceover is. Voice acting, on the other hand, is uh, when you're voicing a new character, brand new character for video game, whether it be for video games, anime, a com, a cartoon, whatever, you know. And uh, so, like, and so you have to vision in your mind and saying like, what, what that, what that person would sound like. And it's also your job saying, hey, you should have my regular voice. Should I have a high voice? Or should I have a low voice? Or like, like, let's just say, like, you let's just say you, um, let's just say the illustrator or the animator who did, who, um, who showcased that character, um, uh, and uh, like, is it gonna be a comedy? Is it gonna be a thriller? Is it gonna be serious or anything like that? If it's gonna be funny, then the, the, let's just say the big guy can have like a hi, um, like a hi, this voice like this, saying, hey, watch it, Bob. Like, something like that, you know? Like, this, so that's basically what voice acting is. And also, another thing I want to talk about is that uh, um, acting, like, voice acting is legit the same thing as regular acting. It's just that you're not doing it full person. Like, it's just your voice. It's just your vocals. And uh, you're and it's just legit just your voice. But you still have to put in the effort. You still have to put in the punch. And, like, you still have to, like, put in the strain, the effort into the voice acting. Like, and... Uh, and legit, like when it comes to like like and it's okay like it's okay if you want to do, like like gestures and if you want to move your body like move your feet move your body he's just like he's even with rappers rappers will like do stuff like this and like move like that and like all that stuff because you know it's a habit that people do but like when you're doing like say anime voice acting or video game voice acting whatever like you can still move your body and go, like it's over nine thousand like you can like really put in the strain and like if you want to clutch your fist. Just to get that more, like, more punch, more range, go for it. Like, as long as you don't like put to put too much strain on your voice, you're good. So like, uh, you really gotta like practice uh, your vocals, like vocal, practice vocal warm ups, sweat tongue twisters, um, like practice, like move your cheeks around, like. <laughs> like always want always want more of your cheeks. Like practice with your throat. Don't put too much strain in your throat and all that stuff. Uh, so like, uh, and uh, hey, and. Um, also, what comes with voice acting is that, like, um, and, like, say if you want to do voice acting because maybe you're too shy and all that stuff, like, and you don't want to show yourself in person, that's totally fine. Like, even I'm stage fright. Even I can get stage fright. Like, legit, I did multiple, I did, like, multiple plays in my old middle school. And, like, my thumb would twitch, my eye would twitch, I was, like, shaking, I was a little, I was really nervous. For my, I've done, like, I've done, like, six or seven plays at my, at my middle school. No joke. And every single time, I get nervous. So, and that's okay. That's totally normal. It happens to everybody. But some people get stage fright. So, uh, even myself. So, like, uh, so the voice acting is that you're just showing your voice. Nothing else. But maybe sometimes, uh, you know, so that's saying, hey, it was okay if we, we can record you for the behind the scenes. If you say no, that's totally fine. If we say yes, totally fine. That's totally fine either. That's totally fine. It's totally fine either way. Show you, just show your voice. Not your, nothing else. And, yeah. They see it, so yeah. As for the third thing, and this is when YouTube and Twitch uh, will come in handy, but also you want to start off small. You've done, let's just say you've done one or two projects uh, for voice acting, and they say, "Oh my God, now I want to search for the big leagues, and like I want to now I want to go into like massive video games, um, massive video games, uh, and also or massive animes now." No, 
that's not the case. You want to like once you've done two pro projects and you don't you don't just go immediately into it. It takes time. Like they have to find you and saying, hey, I think this person will be perfect for this character that I'm doing or this character or that character that I want to voice oh that do a voiceover dub work. Um, that was what we want to do voiceover for. Um, so like, uh, and that's basically it. Like. It all depends on like what the like how you're doing it, um, like how you're doing and all that stuff. Like you just keep on like just keep on doing just doing, don't don't you don't just start doing major projects immediately and saying like okay I know what I'm doing I know how to do it immediately start immediately start doing um, immediately start going for the big leagues where everybody else is. No, start with small and uh, um. Like say, like uh, if your friend is gonna do animation, uh, you can uh, you can uh, say, hey, uh, I, uh, hey, is it okay if I can uh, help you out uh, with the voices? And uh, he'd be like, yeah, sure. Or he or she would be like, yeah, sure, go for it. And it'd be cool. So like, yeah. So like, always, uh, always, like, you can always search up on you can always search up online and uh, saying, hey, um, I'm I'm an animator. I'm looking for voices. Can someone please help me? And then be like, hey, sure, I'm down. Uh, like, let me know. What, like, you send me your script. If you're a writer, sweet. So send me your script. On um, like, what is what is the character's name? What is what is he gonna be about? And all that stuff. That's like the main. That's the main goal for um for, for doing small projects. Eventually, and again, this is when YouTube and Twitch and also social media will come in handy. Um, but also have a website of your own if you can make one. If not, then it's fine. But also, um, let's say if you're out in public, you can you you can always have card. You need to have like greeting cards available, saying hey, I do voices. Do you have a per? Do you have a, do you, do you or do you, or someone you know uh, that is an animator or is um, part of a big company or anything like that? Give them, here. I have a card. Read it. You check me out on social media, uh, YouTube, Twitch. See my work, and if so, great. If not, then that's fine. And hey, maybe um. Or hey, maybe uh, that person will have a birthday party for their son, daughter, niece, nephew, or whatever, and say, hey, can you do voices uh, uh, just as like a little fun thing? I'll pay you big. That's good too. That's also really good too to get invited to birthday parties and to do voices just for like a fun thing because they because the kids might ask say hey can you do the voice can you do this voice can you do this voice can you do this voice and uh, should I be, and just like try to practice it's a really good practice to do that because it also help with kids also help with because like maybe someone at the, that party will be a major person at, in, in media and like wow this person's really good here you go. So here, here's my card. Read it, uh, check me out, uh, and uh, we'll we'll talk uh, about uh, what what your um, opportunities will be. So there you go. Like and um, also like if you want to work at home when it comes to voice acting, uh, it won't work at home. It's oh, it's like it is good to have good equipment. Like like my room is not that great for voice acting whatsoever. You need to have a good pad and you need to have um, soundproof pads uh, that will really help with echoing and uh, um. The isolation for the sound, that's a, that's a really good thing. Uh, but a good mic, like the mic I have was like $120. You can easily buy a mic for like 20 to $50. And those are really good too. And like I had, the, I'm, listen, I had this mic for a very, very long time. I had this mic for a good five, six years now. And uh, um, it, hurt, it helped me do waters. And I love it to pieces. I love it to death. Eventually I will upgrade to something better. So yeah, but like, uh, um, so yeah, you need to, like I said for you, you need to have a computer, you need to have a, um, you need to have a, a software, uh, for, you need to have a software where you can like, uh, um, where you can, uh, where, you, where you can record on it. Uh, I would say like for, I would say something, I would say using some, I would say, um, I would say Audible, um, or, uh, yeah, you know, Audible, not audio, not Audible, Audio, Audible is something completely different. Um, audio City, that's, that's, it's, it, Audio City is completely free for anyone to use, it, whether you have a Mac or PC, doesn't matter, it works wonders. I never used it, but here it's great, eventually I will get it to help me with my, um, to help me with stuff. But, uh, yeah, Audio City is a really good software to use, uh, Logic Pro X is not a good one to use. Um, but editing softwares, they're not really that great to use. Sure, they have a lot of, like, Tweaks that you can do that you can do, but they don't have a lot uh, when it comes to sound. So I would say either Logic, either Logic Pro X, or mostly um, I recommend Audio City to use when it comes to softwares. Again, mics, 
have a, at least have a good mic. Uh, it has to be a perfect mic. It doesn't have to be like a super expensive mic whatsoever. It can be a twenty to fifty dollar mic. I would say that's about. I say that. I say that's a good, a good range to do it. Um, have a small, very good isolated. If not, to buy some soundproof pads to put in that small isolated space and a uh, computer, obviously, to help uh, to capture when it'll help with the mic. It can bring the sound into the computer and uh, um into the, and bring it into the software. So that's also pretty good to use as well. Audio City, a good um, a good sound software. Again, I recommend Audio City, uh, which is a really good one to use. And that's pretty much all you need: a computer, mic, um, a computer, mic, and a good isolated soundproof area to do the voices in. That's all you need. So, I guess that's pretty much it. Like that's legit all I want to tell you guys is saying, hey, if you ever think about doing voice acting in the future, here are my tips and tricks. Again, I'm not a voice actor whatsoever. I've never done voiceover work. I've never done vo voice acting work. I'm just giving you my opinion on like the like the things I do. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. So actually, before I go, uh, I kind of want to do like some of the some of the impressions that I can do. Just, just so you guys get like a little hand of a um, personating. So, I can say Nicky Mouse. Oh boy! Ah! Oh, I can't do the laugh really well, but I can do the voice pretty well. Like hot dog. Ah! Um, Goofy. Oh gosh. Oh yo. Why there, Donald? Um, I just got into Donald Duck. A lot of people think when it comes to doing Donald Duck is that it's it's not. It's not in the throat whatsoever, it's all in the cheeks, right here. Down in the cheeks, boys. Down in the cheeks. So, yeah, it's all in the cheeks, boys. Guys, it's all in the cheeks. It comes to you, don't not the voice. Sex, 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 I just got interested. Sex is my son, it's got I can't do, I can't do his lap, but I can do his voice, puts it on, yes. <laughs> um, I, I can't, I can't do high-pitched voices like Minnie Mouse, like, I try, like, Like, I, I can't do him pretty, I can't do that pretty well, but, chip and down, chip and down, I can do that pretty, I can do them pretty well, um, I can do, I'm Winnie the Pooh really well. Oh, I need a smoke of honey, I have a rumbly in my tumbler, oh, I'm very hungry, and a killer, I, I actually can't do the killer, like, I can do him okay, like, I can do laugh, like, more about thick but tears. I need the wonderful thing. The punch of the bear rubber. The punch of bigger springs. Um, so yeah, you guys are just uh you are also when it comes to doing ERs, you have to have a low depressing voice. Like this. You gotta talk real slow. <laughs> so and uh Randy, me, boy boy. Like Zoin Scoob. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much, it's just, just to name a few, I can do, I can do a lot more, but, uh, obviously, I, uh, I can do a lot more, but, you know, you guys are the gist. Anyways, um, I'll see you guys in a video, video, bye, again, this is my, this is my tips and tricks, and, or, or my opinions on the different, on, like, if you wanna, if you guys ever thinking about doing voice acting in the future. So, anyways, guys, later, bye.